I'm your girl Sonia. Here with me is Tyrese Powell. He's a CEO and president of Two Third Films. He's a director. He's like the entrepreneur of entrepreneurs. And I'll let him explain exactly what he does and who he is. And thank you for joining me. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so you can tell me, yes. tell a little bit about. I want you to tell um, me about you. Okay, so pretty much, am I talking like looking at you or? You can look at the camera. Look at the camera. <laughs> I feel like I should look at you. Both. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. So, yeah, I'm a director, producer. Um. Currently, um, marketing and screening my my new short film called House Arrest. We just uh, knocked off and um we just uh started up with um the first screen. I wanted to say like. We just made a kickoff, I want to say. So we kicked off everything with the first screen of here at Philly Cam. That went well. A lot of people came out. We were able to um, share the short. There was a lot of support there. Got some good feedback. And um, right now, I'm just looking for other venues and setting up screenings for the rest of the summer. We're going to start back up in the beginning of June uh, with some more screenings. And you okay. know, during the summer, we want to be going back into production, finishing up the, the final three parts of the, the series. Um, now, right now, I'm, I'm calling it a short film. Okay. Uh, the first, the first uh, part one clocked in at like 17 minutes, okay. and once I combine all, all four parts, it'll, it'll be like a feature length um, situation. Okay. Yeah. Tell tell people what House Arrest is about. So yeah, House House Arrest is uh, based off a true story. Um, talks about a murder that happens in Philadelphia in 2016 and how it impacted uh, you know family, friends, and what transpired after that and um, you know some of the personal battles that people dealt with after they got the news. Um, some people were on house arrest, they cut that off to go get revenge. Um, you know, friends are uh, torn between, you know, do I try to get help, do I handle it myself? Mm -hmm. And there's also a, a crazy plot twist in it. So, you know, okay. people definitely have to you gotta check that out. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So let's let's do a little backstory. Okay. Tell tell us how you got involved with um, directing and producing and, mm -hmm. and things of that nature. Yeah, so I just um, I started directing, you know, I want to say I got involved with uh, filmmaking in uh, 2007. So, I, I, yeah, I started off in 06 uh, doing a photography program. And from then on, I was really interested in uh, cameras and I wanted to do more and I was really pursuing it. And, you know, 2007, 2008, 2009, I was in uh, these film programs producing short films. You know, I did some camera, did some editing, uh, did some directing, did some acting. Okay. And I got things started that way. So, and uh, I, you know, I stuck with it throughout, you know, high school and college and to this day. So, from the time you began up until now, mm -hmm. how do you think you've evolved? Tell us tell about your, this is the evolution right. of, of Tyrese Powell. Yeah, 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 that's good. <laughs> um, the evolution, well... How were you in the beginning, when you first started? Like, what was your work like? I don't know, I was shitty. <laughs> like in the beginning, shitty, shitty. You know, not shitty, shitty. In the beginning, I was still learning, and um, you know, I thought I was hot stuff. Um, at every stage of uh, you know of you know my production career, my filming career, uh, I really thought I was hot stuff. And uh, looking back, you know, it was definitely definitely a lot of room for improvement. And uh, I've made strides to tighten up. And uh, right now, the work looks great. But you know, in the beginning, I didn't know a lot about the equipment. I didn't know a lot about. Um, you know, storytelling as much, um, you know, effects, all that good stuff. So I was still learning a lot, trying to figure it out. And, you know, the evolution was really, um, you know, applying what I was learning as I went, went along. And, uh, I, you know, I've been consistent with producing content. And, um, you know, I have a, a better idea of, like, what I'm trying to do right now, what I am doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's talk about challenges. What cha tell, me, tell us about the challenges that you faced uh -huh. since you've been doing this. Um, challenges, some challenges are, you know, like scheduling, yeah. trying to get schedules together. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I work, I'm a teacher and, um, even last year I had two, I was juggling two jobs, trying to do my own thing as well. And that was a challenge, just trying to find the time to, you know, do, do things. Um, sometimes you, uh, have to be motivated to work with certain people when I do music videos. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, sometimes it's kind of, you know, I'll sit, I'll sit back and wonder like, okay, when is this next uh, banger going to come? When it, when yeah. am I going to get like that viral thing? You know, um, yeah. challenge is also just being being patient. You know, waiting, letting things uh, take their course, and um, you know, just keep working and stay consistent. So you know, it'll come. You know, some people they take off early on. Some people yeah. take off later on. You know, but I am having fun with it, okay. and um, you know, you know, things are things are cool, cool, aesthetic right now. So, how would you say people react to your work? 
Do do people do you have a fan a nice fan base? Do people? I th- yeah, I think I do have a nice fan base. Um, you know, sometimes you don't really have a fan base, but so you, you know. yeah, like people <laughs> people like the work. Um, I just dropped something yesterday, and people been going crazy about it all day. Good. Um, a lot of uh, feedback. Let's talk about that real quick. What were you working mm-hmm. on? Uh, just a music, a music video. Okay. Yeah, a music video uh, for one of my friends as a duo called the Blum Bros. They've been working for a while, okay. and um, me and one of the one of the guys we got together, chopped up a nice little snippet, and it's hot. Like, okay. It's fire. That thing okay. is lit, lit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Tell me where they can see it. So you can see, y'all can see that video. It's called uh, it's called Ralph Ralph Star Ralphie. Um, the song was called No Hook. That's a lot, though. <laughs> yes. So you can type in you can type in Blum Bros uh, at Blum Bros. That's a B L U M B R O S Blum Bros. Or Two Third Films. Um, you can check that out on my Two Third Films uh, YouTube channel. If you go to YouTube, type in Google Two Third Films, YouTube Two Third Films, yeah. Facebook, Instagram Two Third Films. You are gonna find the work. Uh, or look for Blum Bros. Though, but that's that's super hot right now. Okay. Super hot. Okay. I'm trying to uh, hit like 500 in a day on that one. Um, I'm still waiting to crack 10k on one of my videos that I produce, but we you know, get there. That's you know, and that all all of that is about social media and how you promote. Oh, it's coming, it's coming for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. So maybe next week. Yeah, maybe, maybe because you you kicking those videos out pretty hot. Nah, we we had ten, dropped wow. ten videos so far this year. And and what's the time frame? Um, from January to now. Wow. But almost you know, May. That's not bad. Well, this man working, huh? Yeah. You see that? You know, yeah. <laughs> he got passion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I want to know is, did you ever have a difficult situation working with anyone, like on the set or anything like that? <laughs> um, like, let's talk about that. You know, things are always stressful on the set, but as a leader, you have to keep a, a clear mind. You have to keep cool, stay focused, and understand that you're in a leader uh, leadership position. And um, I don't know, it's really important to be a leader, be strong, because if yeah. they see you break or crack. Then everyone else is going to kind of fall. Yeah, it, it really is. So you know, um, in college, I, you know, I was stressed out a lot. And you got to understand, if you're not putting money or taking, you're not putting people in a position to take care of themselves, or like if it's not a financial thing as far as working, collaborating with people to produce content like how the, the content I produce. Mm-hmm. If you're not doing that for them, you can't really expect them to be yes, 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 okay, okay. Right. You know, and I understand people they go through whatever they go through, and. Um, you know, if you say, hey, I need your hair and they got something else, you got to respect and understand that. So it is, it's been stressful in the past just trying to get people together. And uh, But I always fall back and understand I'm not paying this person right now. Um, this person volunteered to collaborate and make this work, you know, because, hey, you work with me, you're going to get uh, some industry quality Whatever we do together. Exactly. So, all right, I didn't pay you, but you got a, you got a, a very clear... Um, uh, presentation on screen for people to look at. You have something for your real. You have a lot, you know. And uh, I was kind of like, "Huh, you got me. I got you." At this point, right? You know, right. when we when I start uh, make, doing partnerships with different people to bring in more funds, mm-hmm. then you know we'll get to that point. But um, it's always been stressful just trying to get like schedules together and work with people in that uh, aspect. Um, other than that, everyone I work with they're pretty chill. Uh, of course, yeah. I've tried to work with some some rappers that are kind of like um, yeah, they can get a little testy. No, not even that, cause I'm you know I'm solid, you know. Okay. But uh, as far as like, oh, let's do this, let's do that, or you're not prepared, you just like let's whatever, let's do something random, and I'm like. That's, you know, difficult. I'm like, nah, this isn't it. We got to be patient. We got to wait. Or, mm-hmm. um, you know, I'm trying to look out for people uh, financially because they don't have what they need to pay for a video. So it's, yeah. it's always something. It's like, yo, this yeah. person is burning me out. I'm going to holler at you later. <laughs> yada, yada. Um, okay. But overall, production-wise, things are pretty smooth right now. Well, let's talk about our youth. Um, what would you tell any, any youth that want to get involved with this type of work? Right now, there's a lot of... Um, a lot of nonprofit programs that offer really? clubs and um, okay. just yeah clubs and programs after school where you can work with uh, media instructors, work with and collaborate with other students, and produce content. Some some uh, situations you get paid, some you don't, but you get a lot of experience. Keep doing everything, get your get your foot in every door, get your hands in every pot that uh, revolves around or um, has anything to do with uh, media and video production because. It goes places. It leads to one thing leads to the to the other. Um, 
you go to college, you've been a part of five nonprofits, you can get an internship easier. You know these people. Keep a good rapport. That's right. Make sure you stay on your grind. Exactly. Graduate, say, hey, look what I've done. Look what, I've, look what I have uh, done. Look what I've accomplished. You know, what's up? You got any opportunities? And then go from there. What about the ones who are frustrated and who feel, who don't have support? What would you tell them? Because there's a lot of that, you know? Get out your feelings and go make there something go. happen. Like, That's right. You got to get out your feelings and go look. Like, nobody is going to, half the time, if you starving and you just sit down in your bed all day, nobody's going to come to you with mm -hmm. uh, a plate. They might, randomly. Yeah. But you got to tell somebody, hey, I'm hungry. Can you help That's me? Right. How can I feed myself? Can you help me feed myself? Can you put me in a position to be able to feed myself? That's right. Can you lead me in the right direction? Things like that. So you can't feel sorry for yourself. You got to shake off uh, whatever negative feelings you got and go do for, do for yourself. Do for self, honestly. You got to do a lot. Um, everything else is going to fall into place, but you got to be willing to do for yourself first. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, your car break down. Start pushing first. Maybe somebody will be, uh, it'll be quicker to help you if they see you trying to push versus if you're just sitting next to us and, hey, can you help me push? Exactly. And motivation. A lot of people don't understand that um, people feed off of people's motivation. They, mm -hmm. they feed off your hunger. And that hunger is what, and that desire to do is what makes you who you are. And that's what creates your work. Right. And that's how you create in, in the work that you do. You, oh, yeah. you pull that creativity. And pe a lot of young people don't know that. They don't. They haven't found that it's part tough. of you know themselves There's a lot of um, distractions and obstacles that a lot of young people have to deal with trying to make it out of whatever situations they're coming from. You yeah. know? And um, when you deal with a lot, it's tough to have a positive mindset. I get that. Mm -hmm. But you have a neg negative mindset and not being willing to um, pursue what you want, it's not going to help the situation. It might make it worse or it's going to keep you stagnant. That's true. Now, what, now two-third films in the future. This, what, mm -hmm. what, what do you got in mind? What do you see? Uh, it depends on how far in the future, but feature-length films, film festivals, uh, feature-length films, film festivals, uh, videos on TV stations, Absolutely. working with bigger artists, things like that though. We, um, things are looking good right now. We're going to keep, you know, keep growing. And uh, when I say we, it's just the people that collaborate with me. Absolutely. Um, we just, yeah, go from there. But it's right now it's looking good. I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling the momentum. I'm feeling the energy. I never had a year like this okay. ever so far. Good. As far as like a uh, reception. Um, and I'm just looking forward to it. You know how things come in time. You know, I know, I know. It's, it's good like though. It's line up. Yeah. It's so weird, isn't it? It's getting there. You know, so, so what type of um, let's see how can I put it? So so who what any, is anything um, pressing hot and pressing now that you have going on? Any events? Any anything? Well, yeah, the, the next thing is going to be the um, house arrest screenings that I'm going to set up for like um, early June. Okay. That's coming, and besides that, just the videos that I'm going to be putting out. So right now, house arrest is my main focus. Okay. And I'm I, you know I already finished part one, so right now I just need everybody to see that and. Um, get kick you know kick uh, kick off and get you know started with production this summer. Do you want to like do a shout out and let people know that you're looking for investors or people who want to come with you? Yeah, so if you want to invest or do some type of partnership with Two Third Films for House Arrest, definitely let me know. Um, you can uh, check out all the work at Two Third Films on Instagram. You can go to the Two Third Films YouTube channel. You can also email me at Two Third Films at Gmail dot com. Um, I'm looking. I'm, I'm open to working with anyone who uh, who um, believes in the vision and they like what they see. I'm gonna go from there. Um, definitely shout out to all the cast and crew. Thank shout you. out to uh, Kevin. Shout out to Blum Bros. Um, could be uh, also Nitty. I just want to shout out everybody that helped and made sure that that project happened. You know, a lot of uh, people really helped out. And and yeah, so yeah, contact us. Uh, repost some work too. <laughs> mm, um, Anything else? Any last words? Oh, uh, uh, last words. <laughs> Follow everything. Film Picasso, champion of the United States. Two third film, do the hottest in the city. Uh, very big thank you to Sonia for uh, bringing me on the show. Um, if y'all need music videos, proms, weddings, everything, y'all gotta get with me. We working. So uh, that's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you for this interview. It was enlightening. We'll get to know you. I appreciate it. So, if everybody check him out, listen to what he says, and mm -hmm. I'll hit him up, okay? Listen to what I said. We'll check you out next time. All right, see y'all. Bye.